Hey guys, I am going to play some of this Crystal Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod in the latest version, version 1.0. There are some mods being used. I have the Bloodlines mod, uh, I mean sub mods, I have the Bloodlines sub mod, I have the uh, more dates, more bookmarks sub mods, there's sub mods like Rise of Three Daughters, the Death of the Conqueror, etc. etc. And I have Dynastic Stability, which just helps remove the AI from doing stupid marriages to make it either too easy for the player or to make it uh, hard on themselves by dying out and such. So yeah, there's that. I'm. This is not a long series, as you probably tell by what it is. My long series will be as the Estamont as soon as the more decision sub mod is released. Um, that's uh, Black Ninja. He's also the creator of the Bloodlines and Bookmarks extra sub mods. Does lots of work for the community. Very, very wonderful person to volunteer all his time to all these sub mods. The other one, uh, Dice Disability, is by Knucky, if I pronounce it right. But yes, we're going to be starting in the Clash of Kings. This is a playthrough I've done before, but it's been very, very altered. King Rob Stark. It's, some people find it relatively hard. I've usually found it relatively easier, but now it's been changed uh, to make it harder or easier. I don't know, but we'll go in here. I'll play it, so I'll find out. So in the latest version, along with the test version, which I've been playing for the past, I had been playing for the past over a month, there is new decisions. It's more, there's more to Rob Stark. There's more about this scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this short. So have I got my fan on? There we go. I'm going to be playing around with this. As you can see already, there are some marriage decisions. Ah, yes. So yes, we'll go ahead and wait for this to click in. So yes, Stark Bloodlines for the glory of Starks. Close, good, close. Of course, I should have known, so we get a suspect, uh, suspected bastard against King Joffrey, etc. But as you can see, we've loaded in as the Rob Stark, the young wolf. He's he's alright. He's a good commander. He's not really that good of a king. In the book. But we're going to not be going along with the book. We're going to be doing a better way. Also, look, there's Rob, uh, Rob's brother, recruiter, Jon Snow. He's a recruiter. Oh, okay. Well, yes, as you can see here, my name is Rob Stark of Winterfell. I refused to bend my knee before the Lannister imposters. And I was paid for the murder of my father and the abduction of my sisters, etc., etc. But basically, you get a choice of three different things. You get the marriage to a Frey, Queen Roslyn of the North. This is the woman you promised to marry, and so you should really be marrying her. But you also have the option of Jane Westerling. That brings you a nonsense alliance, but you do have there is the ability that she is pregnant with your child so Rob Stark being the honor bound man that he is he doesn't know which one to go for that he has to preserve her honor he has to preserve the phrase honor but there's also the option to do neither you will lose prestige and you could try to marry someone else I don't know maybe uh, Vivian Royce is she here yeah Vivian Royce perhaps there's also uh, the potential of Marjorie, if you want to risk it for a biscuit, I don't really want to. Um, who else is there? Stanley the Manly has Shireen, but she's a bit too young. And of course, there is the old, uh, the old uh, Ariane Martel. As you can see, these are bloodlines. Every major house has a bloodline. Gives you prestige, general opinion, etc., which you know helps. Does Stannis have both? He has the Baratheon bloodline, but not the Targaryen one. Even though his grandmother is a Targaryen. Maybe he'll get it in a, in a bit. I don't know. But yes, we're going to make our promise of the phrase and we'll keep it. If we decide not to honour our alliance with the phrase, then the phrase will become independent. You will not get their levies. They'll probably raise their arms against you. I'm not sure. But yes, we'll make our promise to the phrase. We will keep it. I'll then tick ahead for a day if it ever wants to tick ahead. So we've ticked ahead for a day. We have approximately 35,000 men down here. With 20,000 extra raisable. So you have a decision to make. You can lower your men and try to get all of your troops ready and marching south. Now the thing is, Rob Stark didn't exactly know who was fighting for rebellion when he started marching south. He was on a rush. He didn't get every last man he could. He rushed down because he wanted to get down and kick Joffrey's ass and get his father out of jail. His father's now dead, so it's now turned into a war for rebellion. He wants his independence. So of course he doesn't have all of his men with him. But then we are fighting against all of these lots. Ah, 
Yes, as you can see, she is now married to Joffers. Wait, she was already. And he has the Lannister and Baratheon bloodline. So, very good for him. Do you don't... He still hasn't got the Targaryen one. Do you get Targaryen? Doesn't even have the other one. So yes, we have all of these people to fight. So nobody is on our side. That's why it's a lot harder now. It used to be easier. It's not so easy. We have our cousin over here. There's a chance he might want to join us, but I doubt it's very much. We also have Balon. What's Balon going to do? He has his son, so there's not something you can choose about that. Yes, yeah, so I think we're going to need all 50-odd thousand men. The problem is, this will give the Lannisters time to get into uh, the Riverlands. But ultimately, we have to do it. You have to sit down every last man. I have to get every last ounce of opinion we can with our good guys. Gonna make uh, Hosta Tully the designated regent. He has the Tully bloodline, he is infirm, etc. etc. But that's that's not to worry about. Now that we've got that, we can raise up his men. And we're already so many men in profits. We've basically got our 30,000 back straight away. We could raise them there, we could raise them somewhere else and try to hit these Lannisters over here straight away. It might be a better thing to do. Raise our men around here and just go straight in, try and take over Hallenhall, which we do have enough men to siege. We have Brendan Tully. I'll try to keep it so only Riverlanders are in charge of the Riverland force, I was saying it starts to get a bit a bit all over the place. But we don't actually have the extra Riverlanders. Maybe I'll have to go against that. Lord Trent, he's uh reasonably south. But yes, we'll get him going over there. No special titles available. Not generals, although you're not exactly the best general. Right, we have John Unbuy, not even a general. Roderick Cassell, Hugo Wool, got level 16, getting Howland. There we go, we've got better generals now. So they're going to go over to Hurren Hall, they're going to siege it. We also have another load of special stuff. We have bodyguards. Who do we want to be a bodyguard, eh? Well, we have Olivar Frey, of course. Other bodyguards can be. We have no one else really in our court. Why? We should have a lot more. We should have several phrase. Oh well, cupbearers will get a load of random guys from our lands. You could of course replace um, Hosta as the master of the hunt now you have his troops raised if you really wanted to go all out gamey mode. Court Jester, that is a negative opinion one, but what's wrong with having a court jester? What, Lewin? Chael, Walder, Hodor, no, Osha. Osha can be the old uh, thing. We don't have a court dwarf. We have a regent, which is Hosta. Are we going to take the war focus or health? Health, I don't want to die. Special character things, demand important prisoners, do it. Ah. So now we get prisoners from good old Walder. Demand important prisoners from uh, you as well, thank you. So we have to do demand imported prisoners one by one, I guess. Whoa, so he just got a load of guys. So from my house, yeah, still the dwarf. Wait, what's this? Oh, your yeah, bodyguards. So why aren't there any bodyguards? Before we start setting sail, I want to try and get some bodyguards going. Also, I want to have a son, of course. Regencies are bad, but this is Rob. He, he wants a son. Of course, we are part of Tully and Stark bloodline, so it's good for us. Go on, Roslyn, give us a son. So you want to search our realm for uh, either religion and culture. Uh, landed, no, married, any great house, preferably, adult, yes, and gender, men. Fighter, any formidables? Roderick Forrester. He does not want to come to our court, however. He would be a good bodyguard. Let's go for skilled fighters. As uh, this guy. Let's just see if there's anybody who wants to come to our court. Can we get rid of you, please? Uh, Walder, invite a court's not an option. Who's this? Harold, invite a court. No, this guy, invite a court. No. Uh, Branfield, invite a court. No. So I don't think really anyone's going to want to come to court. Black Walder Frey. In fact, that's the way we should go about it. We should go straight to. Go straight through to, to the Frey claimants. There might be someone. Oh, it doesn't actually show his claimants. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna have to stick with one bodyguard. I can't be going for all that chaos. DJ claims. Old stones, if we had a load of money. But yes, we would be losing money. That's something to watch out for. 
Okay, well now we can try and raise another 35,000 men. We could spend out gold to try and pick up as many as possible from all these relations and such. We could do other things like cancel positions. We have Roderick Cassell here is going to... He's going to garrison Winterfell. Not yet. Not yet. After we raise the men in Winterfell, which will be now, then we can get Roderick. Ah... Roderick's actually a commander. We still want Roderick here, right? Roderick, you can't lead men. Your job is to prove the defences of Winterfell. Next up, we have Vayan. Just some random Vayan. Master of Laws. I'd rather it was... I'd rather it was... You. I get opinion. We'll actually want you as a general, so I'm actually going to get you to do anything. Master of Arms, of course. Master of Coin. Roos. Get you to collect tax, because money is good to support the men. Wyman Mandalay will get you to scheme. Uh, what a spy network actually around around here, so we can keep an eye on the people coming up from the south. A priest, prosterize, perform charity, prosterize in our court. Yes, and then we got Mace de Lewin. All right, so we got all these guys ready. So we should be able to raise up all of our men. Just looks like it's gone down a bit. Right, so how many men are we gonna have from up north? Let me just select all of that. It's going to be 34,000. I wanted to get straight down, rush down to uh, River Run, which can hold them, but it will take a long, long time to get there. There are things I can do to try and get people getting there a bit fast, like we can disband you and raise you here instead and get you on your way down. We could do the same with you, one promise over. Oh, the Mandalays love us. That's what we want. Mandalays also have ships, but we won't be needing ships. I'm not going to rush for King's Landing. That is like the go-to uh, tactic. I it's just it, the war will be over. It'd be far too easy. I don't like. I don't like being far too easy. Go with that. We'll raise them up here. So we can do a bit of min-maxing to get our guys as close as possible. But that's about all I'm going to be doing. So that's that. Um, ah, if I did have an improved relation guy, we could get the veil going. Who's good diplomats? Right, you're back in the job. Go improve relations with my cousin. So you're training troops. Could be a worth, but you're in the job. He's in the job. Right, let's go back to find characters. Search around for skilled fighters. Wait, there's a Dustin. House Dustin still exists. Hang on. How are their Dustins alive? So her husband... So you're telling me there's a distant branch of Dustin's? There is! This must be from the canon, because they recently added a load of guys from canon. So they, you're telling me there are Dustin's? That would come to my court as well. Right, how's Dustin? Darlessa Dustin. Arrange your marriage over here to someone, if we need one. Brendan Tully. Sure. You know what? House Dustin's going to be our new bros. There's actually quite a few of them as well. Craig and Dustin? Via the courts? No. So they all have, of course, strong claims on the Barrowlands. Pala Dustin? What can we do with all these Dustins? Wow. Edric Dustin, yes, you want to be my bodyguard. No, you don't. You do, however, want to breed. They have Barbara Day. No, never mind. So Dustin's exists. That is special. What about Hornwoods? I am, of course, do love the Hornwoods. I'm a big fan of mooses. Darren Hornwood, right, there's two. And of course, there's Berenna and Lawrence Snow. Can I leg legitimise him? No. Oh, well. So there we go. We're going to let the clock tick. Finally, it took 14 minutes. What's this? Oh, uh, of course, Balon. Balon is invading. They said somebody died. Let me go through these clicks here. Oh, Hosta died straight away. Whoa. Right, you're now master of the hunt. Good old guy. And you are designated your regent. Of course. I hope not to die. We're going to move your forces in here to take care of Harrenhal while we have our men move south. Hopefully no one else gets involved. Hopefully Stannis does good as well. Stannis 
How can we help Stannis indirectly? I don't think we can. The Martells, of course, going to be independent. So who do I have to work with here? I have not got Sansa. Arya is missing. Brandon. I have Brandon, but he's eight. And of course, Lord, future king of the world, Rickon. Right, you're being educated by Lewin, that's fine. Rickon will be educated by someone, probably me. House Dustin exists. That is crazy. Are you guys going to land? I accept your suggestion. Right, so Darlessa Dustin is down our courts. Right, to Brendan Tully. Congratulations. I thought he was against marriage, but never mind. He seems to have changed his mind. Now we've got Hofer Dustin. You, sir, are going to be a bodyguard. Congratulations. I'm so mind blown that there are Dustins here. I'm mind blown. Ugh, we're going to have to try and get them in charge, aren't we? Well, so what about Broken Branch? So their lands have been uh, partitioned. No, the Manleys have taken over the southern part. Oh, the Dreadfort actually hasn't o overtaken anything. Yeah, poor Darren. Slain by yours truly. Yes, yeah, men are on the way south, but the problem is I don't want to get everybody st a few stuck here while the rest are busy. Yeah, we killed them. We'll let you rot. Let's actually have a look at our prisoners. Intrigue. Prisoners. So if Cleos Frey. We don't want to be upsetting the Freys. Willem Lannister. We'll keep him imprisoned. However, we do have Jamie. I care not for Jamie. That's not what the King's God. Why is he the heir? We don't care for Jamie. We're going to go straight up and cut his head off. Always the old way. Give me that prestige and piety. And that made me stressed. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Rob. Rob is a character who doesn't mind death. In fact, he loves it. But yes, first up, let's just get this uh, clock ticking a bit more now. I've been very slow in my introduction. Like I said, this is only going to be a short-ish. Not sure how long it's going to be. We'll want to win the war and get independence. That's basically it. Ah, Garth Greenfield, eh? We can kill him straight up. I'd rather not do that. Just throw him back in the dungeons. No need to be uh, all murderous on the man. We can, however, try and siege out two of these. We don't need everyone on the same province. Get you guys over to there, and then we'll have two on siege. Can't imagine the Westlands being ready anytime soon. Oh, Jor. I don't have old stones. Yeah, these guys are going to take forever. Jor is against these lots. I don't see any wildlings, however. How many men do you have? You have 2,000 odd. How many men do you have? 2,000 odd. Eh. Uh, I mean, we are Rob Stark, but we're busy. We're indisposed. We'll ride north. Hardily. I do have the Hill Clansmen. That's 1,600 men. And Skargosi. Dispatch some men to help over there. Oh, so your son's already dead. <laughs> ah, war. I mean, it's, yes, it's the Battle of uh, Riverrun has already happened. But we, of course, have changed our recruitments or what have you. So we'll get these guys together. Yeah, she should not have that land. I'm very against how Barbary Dustin has uh, that. The Barrowlands. If there's any way to get the Barrowlands back, the Dustins will be in power. That's great. I, I had no idea there was Dustins. I'm very happy about that. Be nice if they were the heir or something. If there's a plot to give it back to them, I don't know. Jane the Honourable was pregnant with my child. She's going to pass it off as her husband's. Oh, brilliant. The new Lord of the Hornvale. Wait. Ah. Now people know Rob Stark is a bastard. Isn't that fun? You know what else is fun? Ending episodes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short series. I hope we don't get smashed by Ironborn and Wildlings and Joffrey. But anyway, I'll see you lots in the next one. Like I said, again, this will only be a short, so I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.